What is a fixed asset? And how do I account for it in my organisation? Well, in its most simplest form, a fixed asset is a resource that is used by an organisation to carry out its day-to-day -day activities and operations that is unlikely to be disposed of or sold within a 12-month period. Some top examples of that would be land, building, equipment, fixtures and fittings, and potentially motor vehicles as well. The important thing to remember about fixed assets is they're not technically an item of expenditure that would appear in your year-end accounts. They actually are held on the balance sheet, reflecting the monetary value of that asset at any given point in time. It's very common that an organisation would spend or purchase something during the year and it would appear in your budget lines, management accounts, um, in your everyday categories. What normally would happen at the year end is your accountant or yourselves would move that fixed asset out of expenditure to be held on the balance sheet to reflect the monetary value that asset has at any given point in time on the balance sheet. So the question is then is how does that value of fixed asset end up being spread over its useful life? How does it end up becoming expenditure or being written off in the statement of financial activities in the year in accounts? Well, that's something called depreciation. So for example, if you purchase some equipment for 9,000 pounds that was gonna be used for three years within your organization, you would depreciate a third of, of the value of that asset every year. So we'd put 3,000 pounds in the first year, we then put £3,000 in the second year and so on. And you can see as each year goes on, the value that's held on the balance sheet for that asset is going down so that the value of the asset is spread over its useful life until the value of the asset is nil and it no longer has a value on the balance sheet. So you might be thinking, what do I do if I think I've got a fixed asset, but the value of the item, such as maybe a laptop or some smaller items, um, which is gonna be used for a number of years within an organization, but it's quite small. Should I be putting that on the balance sheet? Should I be capitalizing it, is what it's called? Well, that is a really good question. And my top tip, if that's the question you're asking, is to have a look at your organization's accounting policies. There should be in your year-end accounts a policy that outlines the, the value at which you put items on the balance sheet. A lot of organizations might have it at around 500 to 1,000 pounds, but the bigger the organization, the, the larger the threshold will be at which point you would recognize it as an asset as opposed to just including it as an expenditure, i.e. it's been written off in the year it's been purchased. So that is a really good place to have a look to see what level of asset or item you should be holding on the balance sheet when it's purchased. It's also really important to remember that you only need to recognize an account for fixed assets if you're accounting on an accruals basis for your year-end accounts. If you're, if you're accounting on a cash basis, you don't really need to worry about how you account for fixed assets because you're accounting on a receipts and payments basis and anything that you purchase that even if it is a fixed asset by definition, you would still account for that as expenditure within your year-end accounts on a cash basis.